For the first time in over a decade, Austin might officially become a buyer's market. Now I'm going to break down all the latest stats and tell you exactly what that means for you if you're planning on making a move in 2024. So the latest stats from the Austin Board of Realtors shows that the number of homes that are being listed and put on the market in Austin is going way up compared to the number of buyers who are entering the market. So we refer to this as months of inventory. Months of inventory is just a way of saying how many homes do we have for sale. Basically if no one was to list their home ever again, it would take about five and a half months to sell off the current uh, inventory that we have in Austin at the speed at which we're going. So this is actually really good news for buyers. Um, technically to officially be called a buyer's market, we need to have about six months of inventory, but we're so close right now that buyers definitely have some big advantages. We are not seeing crazy multiple offers. Most homes are selling around 5% on average less than the list price. And that also doesn't reflect that a lot of the listings have already had price reductions. And sometimes buyers are also getting seller concessions, like getting their closing costs paid for or credits towards that, that are also not reflected in that 5% discount. So buyers definitely have a strong advantage right now. And the biggest thing is that there's so many options that even if you saw a home that, you know, looked like a great option, if you're not able to get the price you want or whatever, you can still go find so many other great houses that are available to pick from. We have tons of new construction inventory as well, and that's adding to this inventory also as a lot of it is from builders and not just existing homeowners. Now, despite having all these choices though, our prices are showing an increase month over month. And that's typically what we would expect during this time of the year. We're especially into the later parts of the spring towards the end of the school year. So usually from March to June is when we see prices increase every year in Austin. Then it kind of hits the peak of the market in the summer months, and then it tapers off once school starts and we get into the holiday season. So don't think that prices are just falling down because we have this inventory. They're actually following a normal seasonal cycle, but you can use the fact that you have so many choices to your advantage and negotiate a little bit better price when you do decide to buy a home. Now, if you're selling and you're panicked going, oh no, it doesn't sound good for sellers. That's not the case necessarily. You just have to be realistic on how you price your home. Our latest two listings both got great offers that just were in a week of being listed on the market. So the average days on market right now is a little over two months, and that's the same for the city of Austin, Travis County, Williams, and Hayes. They're all following that same pattern. This is not the time to be overpricing your home to test the market. This market will reject your home. I can guarantee you that. The only homes that are selling are the ones that are realistically priced in comparison to the comps around it. And that's especially crucial if you are in a suburban area where there's lots of new builds. People will always pay more for a brand new home instead of a home that's just a few years older. That's just a fact that you're going to have to you know, just recognize and realize that you're not going to be able to compete with all the incentives and everything that the builders are giving. So you've got to price yourself accordingly. Now, the good thing is that as long as you've owned your home several years in the Austin market, you still have a lot of equity built up in your home. And even though your home is definitely not worth what it was back in 2021 or 2022, you can use the money from your current home and buy something else that's also at a discount. So as long as you're staying in the Austin area, it's kind of an even trade. Yes, it may, you may not get the price you hoped for when you sell, but you're also going to be able to bargain and negotiate on the home that you're buying. So kind of look at that as an even trade. And that's how we viewed it when we sold our home recently. We just sold last year at the, in the winter months, which again, are not the best time to sell, but it was the right time for us to make a move. And that's how we viewed it. It's like, I know I sold my home less than what I could have gotten a few years back, but a few years back was not the time for me. So I just used that money and then bargained my way into my next home. So it's a, it was a wash for us on, as far as like what we might've gotten, you know, on the sale and what we were able to negotiate down on the next home. So everything is just a transition and you can still be very successful as both a buyer and seller in this market. 
Now, as always, every single neighborhood across Austin is always different. There are some parts of town where the neighborhoods are already built out, homes rarely come up. So those are going to sell usually faster, closer to list price. And then other parts of town, it's taking longer. So if you have questions about moving into a certain part of town or possibly selling your home, always ask us because we can break down your specific situation and help you get the information you need to make the right decision moving forward.